Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 18th of 2020. Well, it is titled a double star cluster in Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, we see two open star clusters known as NGC 869 and NGC 884, and also known as H and Chi Persei. Now this is an example of a double star cluster. So we have two star clusters which don't just happen to be located in the same direction in the sky but actually happen to be located relatively close together in space only a few hundred light years apart. So they are likely part of the same star forming region and say and formed at the same time. So they are and when we measure ages of the star clusters by studying the patterns of the stars that we see within them, we find that they're similar ages as well, meaning that they have formed again roughly the same time from the same material and just happen to be two star clusters close together. Now these are open star clusters meaning that they're relatively young and open star clusters are young because they simply do not last a very long time. The stars will live about the same amount of time as any other star of that type. However, within an open star cluster, there is insufficient material to gravitationally bind the stars together. So unlike a globular cluster or stars in a galaxy, they are slowly moving around relative to each other, and their velocities are greater than the escape velocities of the cluster. So over time, over many, uh, over a billion years or so, they will slowly disperse out into space and the clusters will eventually be gone. The stars will still be there the oldest uh, the oldest and most massive stars going through their lives and will disappear. But the other stars within these clusters will still be present just slowly spreading out into space becoming just random stars within our galaxy. Now that differentiates them as I said from a globular cluster which is a great glob of stars but also has sufficient gravity to hold those stars so the stars do not escape from the globular cluster and those clusters can last many billions of years and in fact some of the globular clusters around our Milky Way are pushing the ages of the universe 10 12 13 billion years old and those are some of the oldest objects that we see and in fact some remnants of the very early time when our galaxy formed. So in contrast here we see a couple of open star clusters dominated by blue stars showing that they are relatively young star clusters and relatively recently formed. So that was our picture of the day for November the 18th of 2020. It was titled a double star cluster in Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.